everyone, it's Kathy here from Zobello's Designs and today's tutorial is going to be recreating this card that I call Nia and Everly's Adventure. So for this project we're going to need a piece of multifarious card cut 4 inches by 6 inches, some blue matting card that's cut 4.25 by 6.25 inches and then we'll mount that onto a piece of card once folded, measures 5 inches by 7 inches. The stamps we're going to use for this project are the LAV 811 Vine Branch, the LAV 698 Flora Set, I'm going to use the one on the right, LAV 712 Liberty, LAV 766 Everly, LAV 767 Nia, the Silhouette Foliage Set 683, and we're going to use the one on the left for a change. And lastly, we're going to use the LAV 033 ball rushes. Now, this is quite an old stamp. I'm not sure if it's still in stock. But if it isn't, you could continue it with just using that. Um, let me show you. When you look at the card, we've got the ball rushes on the left and we've got those ones. So you could just use all of those across the bottom if you don't have the ball rush one. All right, let's get started. Oh, also, I need to tell you what other items we're using. So for the background, we're going to use Elements Inks Russet Orange. Blue Atoll, Blue Lagoon, and Violet Chalk. And for the stamping, we're going to use Versafine Claire Nocturne. For the backgrounds, I've got some ink tense pencils that I'm going to use. I'm going to be colouring the sea. I'll be colouring some of the sea with this, the boat, and the fairy rings and the leaves. And I've got two greens, a light green and a sort of sea green. A dark blue and a pink. I've also got some stencil brushes to do the backgrounds. And I have some other bits and pieces here. I have a, a yellow pastel pencil that I may use if I need it. Also a black pencil if I need it. I have a gold bronzy coloured gel pen, a black fine line pen, a white gel pen, a couple of paint brushes, a fine one and a fuller one. And a jug of water and lastly I have a Posca pen that is apricot I think to do the bushes. So let's get started. We'll start doing the background. So to start with I'm just going to take a tiny bit of the orange and take most of it off because it's quite strong. And I'm just going to do a circle in the centre and going out to the sides. to do I don't know what we're next, I think we'll make a little um little mask with the the boat so I'm just going to just do a rough stamping I only want the bottom part scissors and literally just going to cut the bottom of the bow out doesn't really matter about the this side of it because it's not going to be used but I'm going to use this for, for when I put the fairies in the boat I can actually 
it come on top and it looks like they're sitting in. So that's it, that's exactly what I wanted. That'll do fine. Put it on rubbish. Right. So I'm going to put that mask just there. And then we're going to stamp Everly. And I'm just going to stamp the top half of her because the bottom half isn't going to be in there. It's going to be inside the boat. Let's leave a bit more on that now, but too much off. So we're going to have her sitting. Just have to hold that in place. I'm sitting right at the front. There we go. Now, if when you do that, if you find they're not right up to the edge and you've perhaps misjudged it, you can always just go over it with a pencil like that to, to make it level. Right, so that's Everly. And now Mia. We need the boat template again. This time for the other side. There we go. My stamp. Little Mia. Perching on the end of the boat there. So this should look like her feet are just inside the boat. There we go. She's just coming along for the ride. All right. Next I'm going to stamp ball rushes. Let's have a couple more down there. And then next I'm gonna have a little foliage set. of those across the bottom like so and flora I'm going to have going up the side of the the right hand side of the card oops I can get it to stick onto the block I need that because I'm going to use that again I have one there one there Last bit of stamping is the uh, vine branch. So I'm going to have this going across the top. I'll position this, I'll turn it to the side so I can position this well. So I just want to have a room either side. I'm using a piece of Torn scrap paper. I'm just going to put some more of these down here. Oops. Let's give that a wipe because I want to now stamp it in the violet chalk just to get a little bit of background on there. So I'm going to stamp the violet chalk. The same thing, I'm going to put this paper there. One's there. This one's there. This one there. Just a few. There we go. That's the ones in the background. Right. It's quite a lot of stamping. Got all the stamping's done. And now comes the fun part for the colouring. Right, so I'm going to start with the C.
but now we just have to glue it onto the backing card. Oops, that's not there enough. I've got a different camera holder today and it's sort of getting in the way a little bit, so I'm so sorry about that. and Evelie's Adventure. Thank you so much for watching. Before you go, if you haven't already been to our Facebook groups, please consider joining our two groups. We have Del Bello's Designs Lounge and Del Bello's A La Carte Lounge for all of the other products Patty sells. Um, we'd love to see you there. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.